everyone, Mrs. A here. Today we're going to expand expressions using algebra tiles. So we're just using the algebra tiles for a bit of a visual to help those people who need to see, see the um, image and how things are working. So this might help some of you who find algebra a little more abstract. In our first question, we have two times x minus four. So when we look at this, the two here is the constant that we're going to multiply with everything inside of the brackets that's attached to the two. So you have a two, there's an open bracket there. When there's no operator there, it means multiplication. We're gonna multiply with that, that with everything inside of the brackets until that bracket is closed. So in this case, the two will be multiplied with the x and with the minus four. We need to make sure we keep multiplying everything by two. So when we use algebra tiles, just as a recap, um, in, uh, with our variables, we're gonna use this little one as a positive one, and this would be our x variable, assuming we don't know the length of it, so it's called x, and then this would be x times x, which is x squared. So this is a one, this is an x, and this is an x squared. When we turn the algebra tiles over, they're red, and the red side denotes the negative value. So this is negative one, negative x, negative x squared. So for this first question that we're doing, the x minus four, we need one x, and it's positive, so that one, and then we need minus four, so we're gonna use four negative ones. So this here shows x minus four, the expression in the brackets. Now we need to multiply everything by two. So we're gonna take this whole picture that we have here and multiply it by two. So we need twice as many as all the tiles that we currently have. So if we have one x, two times one x, if we have two times this, we now would have two x's. And here, if we have negative four, if we want twice as many, we need two groups of these. So I'll do another group like this. So now we have the original negative four and another group of negative four. So this is two times negative four. And if we look at the big picture now, everything all together, we have two x, they're positive, and we have minus eight all together. So the answer to this is going to be two x minus Eight. And that's it. That's how we expand. We do not combine these together now because they are not like terms. See, we have the x terms and then the ones. We can't combine those together. They're different terms. So that's our final solution there. Now let's do part B. So part B says four times all three of these terms. So inside of the brackets, we have x squared minus three x plus one we need to multiply four with all of these. So let's start by getting out the three terms that we have here. So we have a positive x squared here, and we have negative three x. So we're gonna do three x's on the negative side, that's negative three x, and then we have a positive one, so that's one of these. That's the term, the whole expression inside of the brackets. We're gonna multiply everything by four. So we need four times the amount that we have here. Four times the x squared means we have four of them now. Let's see if we can fit these all in. Okay, four x squared. Four times these three negative x's means I need four of these groups. So that's one. Two, three, and one more here. Can we squeeze it in? So we had one group, two groups, three groups, four groups of the negative x's. And then we need to multiply that little one by four. So instead of one, we will have 
four of them. So look at our final solution now. If we put all of this together, we have 4x squared and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, negative 12x and 4 1s. Let's get that all written down. So I'm going to clear this off. And when we expanded, we had 4 positive x squared. We had negative 12 x's, and then we had positive 4 1s. And that's our final answer here. We do not combine these together because they're all different terms. So we don't want to combine them together. And that's how we expand using algebra tiles. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.